With the launch of the Apple Watch Series 5, it has certainly pushed down the price for the Series 3 watches. So in today's video, we're going to be going through and doing a unboxing of a Series 3 watch and showing you how to set it up. Roll the intro. <laughs> Perfect, so again, it's the watch series three. It's a nice thick box, 42 millimeter space gray aluminum with the black sport band and it does have the GPS and the cell capability. So this is the fully, lo uh, fully loaded series three Apple watch. Looks like we're immediately granted with something that says designed by Apple in California and it looks like to be a tray with some type of instructions on here. So we've got the watch. So this one right here looks like it has some instructions on how to install the watch onto your wrist. It's got a little bit of information on how to change the bands just because it does come with a smaller medium band in case this band right here is a little bit too large. You can swap it out for that one and this shows you how to swap the band. Of course, it just has a little bit of information about support and the iPhone itself. And then if you open up this pamphlet right here, you get a quick diagram of the watch itself, how the buttons work, where to turn them on, which one, which functions what. It does show you where like the heart rate sensor is, the speakers, the air vents, mic, band release button. So there's all sorts of different diagram information about the watch within that pamphlet right there. So you have this, and then it looks like this seems to be a protective sleeve, but also just some information about safety handling and just all of kind of like your legal uh, documentation is on that one. And then like I was saying, it does have the extra band, which is the small medium. You can see by where it says small medium right there. So this is the small medium band in case this one's too large. That covers what is in this little box right here. Then the watch itself, after you remove that tray, you're then greeted with the watch laid in a flat lay right here. And you can see that it's got some tabs to pull it out. Apple's always made it really easy to pull uh, stuff out just by adding little tags like this. The watch is right there. It's, again, it's got some instructions on how to install it on the wrist, but it's also got just a protective sleeve around it. And this is a rubber type band. So it is of course waterproof. You don't have to worry about that really deteriorating anytime soon. So really nice to have it. It's got the single nub on there so you can wrap that around and get a nice like fine tune of how to install the watch. And then of course you just place that underneath that when it's on your wrist. We'll set this aside and see what else we've got in the box. Two little tabs on either side, pull that out and you've got the charger itself. I believe this is a 12 or a 15 watt charger. It does have a one amp output. So it's got a nice output to charge Again, it's got the magnetic charger, which it looks like it has a six foot cable attached to it. Got the charger right here, right there. And it's a magnetic charge. Of course, that'll work a little bit better once we've removed the uh, protective sleeves from either one. But that is just about everything in the box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power this thing up. We're gonna grab an iPhone and start the setup process and the initial setup process to get these two connected. The next thing to do is once you've got the watch powered on, you're gonna see a uh, some instructions right here asking you to take your watch and to take your iPhone and put them as close to each other as you can. In and that will start the initial setup process. So we've got our watch here. I've got the phone right here. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. And we're gonna hold these things as close as we can together until we get a prompt on the phone right there. As you can see, Apple Watch. Use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. So we're gonna go ahead and put the watch down for now. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on continue. Once we've done that, it's then gonna want us to, it's gonna open up the camera. But if you look on the watch now, you can see that it's got a very like cool looking barcode more or less and it's gonna want us to scan it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the watch face and we're gonna put it within those yellow lines and wait for the camera to scan it. Boom, perfect, just like that. So as you can see, they are matching. Boom, as you can see, they are now paired and you can restore from a backup if you've had a previous watch. You can bring over a backup and install it to this one as well. But for this one, we are going to do set up as a new watch. And then it's gonna ask you your wrist preference. On which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch? I typically wear it on the left, so I'm gonna tap on left. Once we've done that, you're gonna go ahead and go through, agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, you can set up an Apple ID. We're gonna go ahead and skip this step for now. And we're also going to skip the iTunes store. Now I do want to use Siri. Having Siri on the watch is really nice, especially if you wanna ask her questions about the weather or anything like that. So we're gonna click on use Siri. Watch analytics help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from your Apple watch. I'm gonna click don't share. They don't need any more information than what I want them to have. Uh, and then go ahead and it's just going through like a rundown of your shared settings. You can then go ahead and tap okay. Now it does want you to set up an Apple watch passcode. This is a good idea, especially if you have uh, Apple Pay set up, you're gonna to wanna to have a passcode. So we're gonna go ahead and click on create a passcode. And then you'll notice right here on the watch that it wants us to put in a passcode. So I'm just gonna type in one, let's just do 
One, two, three, four. This code can be easy. Do you still want to use it? Sure, we're just gonna click on use code. One, two, three, four, boom. And now we've got our code set up. Now, of course, that code is not a code that I'm gonna be keeping, so it really doesn't matter. Keep your Apple Watch up to date. You can install updates manually or you can do it automatically. We're just gonna go ahead and tap on continue. Emergency SOS, you can press and keep holding the side button to call emergency services for your Apple Watch. Uh, if you have contacts within your emergency SOS or your medical ID, it can use that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hit on continue. And then cellular setup, your Verizon account is not eligible. This is a dummy phone, so it actually doesn't have any service attached to it. So this does have the ability, this watch has the cell abilities that if you wanted to hook it up in the cellular, it will have, it can work as a standalone phone, which is pretty cool. You can receive calls and messages, etc. That is definitely something that you can set up. But for now, we're just gonna hit on continue. Install available apps. It says some apps on your iPhone may also work with your Apple Watch. You can install all these apps now, or you can choose just the ones you want later. So you can choose later, but we're gonna go ahead and tap on install all just because I want them as integrated as possible. Apple Watch is syncing. Your Apple Watch is almost ready. You'll get an alert when it's done syncing, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna go ahead and set the phone down and we're gonna pay attention to the watch here for a minute. Now you can see that right here in the top corner, you've got a progress bar on the progress that it is when it goes to install those apps. But if we scroll a little bit, so we're gonna use the side scroller here, you can see where it says display, it's got a digital crown, and then it's also got the side button. These are all just your uh, Apple Watch basics and we're going through each one. So we're gonna tap on display. It says tap to select, swipe to scroll and move. So we'll scroll. Press firmly for more options to change the watch face. So if we press and hold, it's not gonna do it right now because we're not actually looking at a watch face. But if you wanted to change the watch face when you're on it, you just press and hold and it will start to give you those options, which we'll show you here in just a moment. Uh, so once we're done with that, we can go ahead and tap on done in the top left-hand corner. And you can see that we've got a green check mark indicating that we finished that section. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit further. We're gonna click on digital crown. This is gonna show us how the side right here, the digital crown on the side will work. Press to return to the watch face. So if you're in an app or something, you press it in once, that will return you to the watch face. And if we swipe, press and hold to talk to Siri. So if you press and hold it, that'll activate Siri, allowing you to do what you need to do with her. And then once you hit this, you can use this to turn, to scroll, zoom, or adjust. So this is kind of how you can maneuver. Now you can always swipe, on the screen as well, but you can use the crown to scroll as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Rolling a little bit further, so as you can see, I can use it, the touch to scroll, or I can use the crown to scroll. So either one's up to you. Last one right here is the side button and how that one works. So if we tap on that, press to show the dock. Again, we don't have the dock up yet, but when you press this, it's going to bring up the dock, which has a lot of like frequently used apps, etc. So you can bring it up that way. Double click for Apple Pay. If you have Apple Pay set up, you just double tap it put in your pin code and it will allow you to make those payments via Apple Pay. And then the last one is press and hold for medical ID, emergency SOS and power. So once you press on that, it'll give you the option if you want to make a medical uh, an emergency call medical ID or if you just want to simply power the device off. So those are just a quick rundown. Again, we'll hit done in the top left hand corner. You can see we've got green check marks across the board on there indicating that we've gone through the basics and we're about a fourth of the way through with the apps being transferred over to the watch. Perfect, once the apps have been transferred over to the app, uh, I did it off camera on accident, but what you're gonna do is it's gonna ask you to press the crown in one time in order to start. So as I did that, you can see that we are now at the watch face. And if you look at the phone, it says, welcome to the Apple Watch, my watch face gallery, app store. It's got a bunch of different settings that you can go in and you can adjust as you can see right here. So pretty cool and straightforward. Let's take a look at the actual watch itself and some of the things that it can do. Again, this is the watch face, so if we press and hold, we are gonna wanna put in the passcode to unlock it. If we press and hold one more time, you can see that it's gonna bring up activity digital. What this is going to do is, this is one of the watch faces that are on here. We can swipe to change to different ones, as you can see. And then, but if you find one that you really like, and of course you can always download some more in the store if you don't like the ones that come with it. But we've got these ones here. And if we just choose on this one, when we choose on customize, what this is going to allow us to do is customize a few of the different settings on here. So you'll notice at the top, you've got like three little circles indicating you have three different uh, settings that you can customize. So the first one is being the font itself. As you choose, you can scroll through and choose various types of fonts that they've got on here. Looks like they've got about three different fonts that you can use. We're gonna choose the very bottom one and then we're just gonna go ahead and swipe to the left. And now it's gonna ask us to choose the style. Once again, scroll through until you find your style. I like the ones where it's kind of like a Tron-like look, so I'm gonna keep that one and then swipe again. 
And then this one is going to be your color. So we can go ahead and scroll through these until we find a color combination that we want. Now, some of the watches that you download may have a few more customizable options, but these ones are pretty basic. So we're just gonna go with kind of like the orange and uh, purple look. Once you've done that and you're done with the customization, all you do is press the in, press in on the crown one time, and that's gonna take you back, back to the watch face, and then you can just tap it once to select it. And now this is going to be your active watch face. So pretty cool on that. If we swipe a little bit more here, you've got like your Wi-Fi settings, your battery percentage, you've got a few different modes, airplane mode, and I pulled that up by just swiping from the bottom itself. So if you just swipe up, you can swipe down. It shows you that it's connected to a phone with the green phone indicator right there. Now, if we were to go back and you press the crown in one time, what that's going to do is gonna bring you to like kind of like the overlay or the grid system where you've got all of your different types of apps on here and you can choose them from here as well. Press it again, it'll take you back to the watch face. Press it one more time, it'll bring you back press the back button or the bottom button. You can then see this is going to bring up the dock. And the dock, like I was saying, has all of your most frequent apps or your favorite apps, activity, heart rate, uh, workout, music, messages, they're all in there as well. And then of course, if you scroll to the bottom and tap on all apps, that'll bring you to the grid system like you have here. Now, if you were to tap and hold on this, you do have the option to switch from a grid view or a list view. You can see them right here. But of course, one thing about this watch that's that I really like is the grid view, which is kind of like a cool like map-like look. So like I said, there's tons of different options in there. Another thing is once you're in the grid view, you can actually use the crown to scroll in and out. As you can see, if you need to zoom out to locate or find another app, you can scroll out. And then once you zoom all the way back in, it takes you to your watch face. And to get back to the grid view, you just press the crown one more time and that will bring you back to your grid view. Again, pretty straightforward on here. Like I said, there's a ton of different apps. You can go in and of course you can set up your mail. You've got all sorts of different sensors on here. So you've got your heart rate sensors are basically in here. I'm not sure exactly which ones are which, but those are your all of your biometric sensors. Again, these little buttons right here are to release the band. So if you were to press one, and you can slide out the band and replace it with a different band of your style. There's definitely a ton of different bands out there that you can use. And then of course to reinsert it, you just press it in slot and then slide it into place and that will click it back into place and you've been able to change your band. So again, they include this is the medium large and then the other one is the medium small. So if you have a little bit smaller wrist, you will wanna swap this out for the smaller one right there. But that is just a quick rundown of the watch itself. So as you can see, taking the iPhone and getting it paired up to the Apple Watch is a really easy process and a very seamless one at that. So even somebody like me that is a very big fan of Android, you can certainly appreciate Apple's user experience when it comes to how seamless all of their devices work together. So getting it all paired up and getting it going is a very easy process and it's really nice to have. A few suggestions that I would make is, of course it is a water resistant, not waterproof, up to 50 meters. You can take it in the shower and you can use it in the swimming pool. However, I would be very cautious on what uh, type of liquids that you're getting in contact with just because like shampoos or soaps or things like that can help deteriorate the seals on the watch a little bit faster. So be careful with that. Also try not to take it in waters that are high velocity, like if you're going surfing or wakeboarding or something along those lines, Apple has recommended that you don't take it in water sports such as that. So those are a couple things on there. Also, because the Series 5 has released and dropped the price in the Series 3, I still would recommend you getting the cellular ability. Even if you don't end up using the cell capabilities, it's nice to have if you end up wanting to add it to your plan later on. The watch will work perfectly fine without the cell abilities as long as it is attached to your iPhone. But of course, with those cell abilities, if you end up leaving your phone somewhere, you can still manage to take those phone calls and those messages. Now the question still stands, is this Series 3 watch still a worthwhile investment in 2020? And even though I haven't had a ton of time to play with it and work with it and see what it's got all it's about, I did notice off the bat that it's extremely responsive. It's water resistant up to 50 meters. You have the GPS and the cell capabilities if you choose to buy that one. And not to mention, it's got a ton of different tracking apps as far as fitness, and there's a ton of apps that you can put on it as well. So to me, yes, the Series 3 is definitely a worthwhile investment, especially for the price point that it's starting to hit. And with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's Tech Unboxed. I hope you guys liked the video and enjoyed it. I will, of course, be taking the product link, putting it in the video description below. It is an affiliate link, and if you do choose to go and buy through that link, we will receive some type of commission, which does help and support out the channel, so we certainly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, enable that bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.